In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use the quality control feature of MyAssays Desktop. Using this add-on to MyAssays Desktop Pro, you can continuously monitor parameters to help ensure your assay remains in control. You can monitor, track, and chart observations across assay runs. These observations can be any numerical result, including raw or calculated control values, percent CVs, or R-squared values. You can configure your QC reports to display the observations in a Levy Jennings chart, QSUM chart, or in a table. You can generate QC reports quickly and on demand. In order to generate a QC report, we'll start in the MyAssays Desktop Explorer and navigate to the Results tab. Here we can see five results files created using the ELISA protocol. If we click on one, we can see a preview in the pane on the right-hand side of the screen. In the toolbar at the top of the screen, you can see Create and Edit options under Quality Control. We can click on Create, and this will open the Quality Control Wizard, which will walk us through the steps to create a QC report. We can choose to create a report with files in a certain folder or with specific files. I'll start by selecting the five results we have generated. And also, at this step, I'd like to note that I could have selected the files prior to clicking Create, and that would already have populated this box with those files. On the next step of the wizard, we can define which observations to report. You can add as many observations as you'd like, and using the extensive MyAssays expression library, you can report any numerical value generated by your protocol. For example, the first observation I'd like to view is the results of our control across the plates. I'll name it Control, and then from the Data drop-down box, we can choose the matrix of data to report. In this case, I'd like to use the final concentration matrix. Next, we'll add the expression to report the value, so I'll enter Control-1. And for the output, we have several options. We can view the reports in a table, a QSUM chart, or a Levy Jennings chart. First, I'll report as a table. We can also set the acceptable SD limit, which defaults to 2. We can create this report immediately by clicking Create Now. You can see an Excel document is opened, and we can see the final concentration from the control on each plate reported in a table. If we'd like to view this observation in a chart format, I can just go back to the wizard and select QSUM or Levy Jennings. I'll leave the SD limit set to 2 and create another report. Now you can see the Levy Jennings chart containing the observations of the control group on each plate, the mean line, and the 1 and 2 SD limit lines. Below the chart, you can see a table of the observations and a message indicating whether or not the observations met the SD criteria. So you can see our observations are all within plus or minus 2 SDs. Let's go back to the wizard again and change the SD limit to 1. Now on our report, you can see the same information. However, we see symbols appearing on the chart, rows highlighted, and the message here, indicating that not all of our observations met the SD criteria we specified. Now let's add another observation. This time, I'd like to report the R-squared from each of my reports. The R-squared is a goodness of fit measure created by the standard curve fit transform. So, to report this value, I will use a transform output variable in the expression, tov2.r2. You can find more information about transform output variables in the associated video. Again, we can select how to display the data and set the SD limit. I'll go back and change our control SD limit back to 2. Now you can see the addition of another chart to the QC report, showing our second observation, which reports the R squared appearing directly below the first. Again, you can see the table and a message regarding whether or not the observations meet the criteria. Back in the Quality Control Wizard, if we finish adding our observations, we can click Next and choose to save the settings to a file. I'll name this My QC Configuration. and click Finish. By saving this configuration, we can easily generate QC reports to show this data, or we can edit it for use in the future. Now that we've demonstrated how to create on-demand QC reports, let's add this content to a report. 
By using this method, we can generate a QC report containing the information we choose and display it with each assay results file. I'll open the ELISA protocol and import my data file. Now I'll select this Add Quality Control button. We can select to add an existing configuration, or we could create a new configuration. I'll add the configuration we saved in the previous example. And again, you can see the Quality Control Wizard opens. Here we can determine which files to include in the QC report. We could, of course, choose to use the same subset of files that we used previously, or if we would like to generate a QC report that includes additional reports as they're created, we can use the folder setting. You can further limit the reports that will be included by using the pattern option to only include files that contain the information in this pattern field. So if we use these settings, for example, only files that contain ELISA 96 well example in the file name will be included. I'd like to select to use this folder option. And on the next screen, we can review the observations and make changes if necessary. The next step allows us to define if we want to save the settings to a QC file, as well as if we'd like to add the QC content to the report. I'll click this checkbox and finish. Now in our protocol, when we view the Properties Control Report tab, we can see the addition of the QC results report element. Within these settings, we can define whether the results should be included, add a title, and define a sheet name. We can also use these arrows to change the order of the report elements in this pane, which corresponds to the order of the report elements on the report. So for example, I can move this QC results element to the top by clicking these arrows. I'd also like to include my QC on a separate sheet named QC, so I'll add that here. Let's calculate our results. So now on our report, you'll see that the QC tab appears first, and you can see on it the Levy Jennings charts and the tables containing the individual observations below them. You'll notice that on this report, it does include six observations, which means that our ELISA example six results are included in addition to the other five previous results. This runs data is listed in bold. You can see the rest of the report displayed in a sheet-based format just like normal, with the curve chart and sample table displayed on the results sheet and the fit details on the fit details sheet. If we save the changes to the protocol, moving forward it will contain a QC report that updates to contain new report information. If you have any questions about how to generate quality control reports or how to add the information to your report, please email us at support at myassays.com.